Now we've been seeing that rain. It actually started during daybreak, right? Uh -huh. um, where is it now? It's actually here. Okay. Yeah, if we were to step outside right now to shower, we would need an umbrella because okay. it's raining really light in the area. All right. uh, let's go ahead and take a look outside. This is our Cedar Hill camera. And if you look towards the bottom of the screen, you can see some of the raindrops. Now this camera does sit up high. So this is actually in a cloud right now. We have that low cloud cover uh, and just underneath that, some really light rain. Temperature right now of 72 degrees. So that Cedar Hill camera sits right about there. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you where this rain is. For most of the morning, it has stayed south of Interstate 20. Not the case anymore. It has slowly crept up at Cedar Hill right here, and you can see that very light rain kind of pushing into the area. We have a few more pockets of heavy rain closer to towards Balch Springs, Mesquite saw a little bit of that and even some lightning with this. This is going to be the trend for a majority of the day where we see these bursts of heavy rain kind of pushing through. The biggest coverage area will be east of Interstate 35 E. Uh, right now, though, Hutchins towards Spot Springs uh, along I-20 there uh, and 352. That's where we are seeing some of that heavy rain in Dallas County. Today, that rain coverage goes up 60 to 70 percent between 1, 3 and 4 in the afternoon. Around 5, we'll still see a good chunk of the area with some rain areas east and we'll see the highest coverage like I mentioned a high near 78 degrees and that will be across DFW. If you are in our western counties, it will be slightly warmer. That's where rain coverage will be lower. A few of us will even get into the 80s. Wise County, maybe even Denton County towards the west. Along our eastern counties, look at the highs mid to low 70s. That's because that's where we will see some rain at really higher coverage this afternoon. Now tomorrow the rain coverage drops to about a 20%. Most of us will be dry on Thursday, but it'll, it'll still be cloudy on Friday. Most of the day also dry, but we'll see it come back late in the afternoon and into the evening. This weekend is when we are looking at the highest coverage of rain. We could pick up between two to three inches of rain across Dallas and Tarrant County between now and Monday. We are going to see slightly higher amounts for areas southwest of the Metroplex, Eastland, Stephenville, Tor towards Brownwood, and I'll show you why one to two inches if you are east of DFW. And that's where the rain is now. Let's talk about why it's coming from the south. It's this area of low pressure that's helping push and generate these showers and thunderstorms, and it's helping this move towards the north. This low will travel north throughout the day, which is why we're going to see the flood threat extend not just from southeast Texas, but east Texas as well. So our rain coverage will be highest on the right hand side of this low, which is why we'll see that 80% coverage and even from Kaufman Hunt County towards the east, Dallas Tarrant County, County between 60 and 70% coverage and it tapers off the more uh, west you are. So again, today around one, you'll see this kind of moving in. Highest coverage will be along our eastern counties. This is at five. This is at 10. Notice how it tapers off. We're mostly dry tonight and most of the day Thursday will be dry. We may see a few little showers here and there. Friday, most of the day dry. This is around seven in the morning. I'm taking you through the afternoon. This is at eight. So that line of showers and storms moves in kind of late in the day. The weekend, I know a lot of you have Mother's Day plans. Highs are going to be in the low 80s. Rain coverage is going to be high. Look at this. This is Saturday at noon. I'm going to take you through Saturday afternoon. Still seeing the rain there across the Metroplex. And then the highest rain coverage on Sunday happens middle of the day and into the afternoon across well, all of North Texas. So just plan on it being uh, one of those weekends where it is mostly raining. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the low 80s over the weekend as a result of that rain. That rain tapers off early parts of next week to Shara.